everyone. Wait, hang on. Hang on a bit. Alright, there we go. Alrighty. So, uh, for today's stream, I mean, we are gonna, we're gonna go do the, the fungi thing, but we're gonna talk, I think for today's stream, well, actually, that's what we're doing today, we're gonna talk about what we're gonna get for the next update, for the next Genshin Impact update, and, uh, Alright, so we'll discuss it right now. So, first thing is, we're getting a Nilu rerun, which, okay, Nilu isn't good. Like, she's she's not good in terms of damage. Um, because, again, I've used her. I know some people could say she's good, but she's only good as a tanker. But, if it's against, let's say, um, the Ruin Grader... I don't think she's going to be good against, and also, the Rift Hounds, because she can't heal. Like, the Rift Hounds, and pretty much any of the world bosses, like the Jade Terror Shroom, this thing, it's it's just going to destroy her. But, um, yeah, um... And she, and again, her combat's not that good. I'll say that. But the only thing that makes Nilu good is just that she's a tanker. Shame that her passive talent isn't. Uh, well, actually, we'll check to see what her passive talent is. Yeah, she's, it's for that that she's good, but man, yeah, her combat abilities aren't the greatest. But there is this, but that's only good for, like, certain Hydro and Dendro characters. But, like, I could see All Haytham being, um, better. I can also see, um, uh, Tartaglia being better, because let's face it, Tartaglia is better. He, he, he is, like... And Ayato, I mean, I know Ayato's good, but Tartaglia, I just think is better, because he's a bow character, and he's also got close combat abilities. Plus, his burst is pretty good. Like, he's got a good Hydro burst, and he's, like, one of, if not, the best um, uh, Hydro dealing characters in the game. I think him, I will say that him and Ayato are in par with each other's strength, so they're like, it, it, they're in par with each other. I, I'll say that, like, I'll say Ayato is good, but his passive talent is not the best. Tartaglia is, is good, because what his does is increases all teammates, including himself. It, it increases everyone's normal attack level, including his. And what's, um, and what's, um, uh, Ayato's, same thing like Hu Tao's, there's a chance that he'll get a, uh, a, uh, uh, suspicious dish, because of course, because of course. But yeah, um, again, like, to those that think Nilu's good, I mean, she's a good character, but not good with combat. Alright, well, there goes, uh, Whirly Twirly and, uh, uh not Whirly Twirly, um, Bongo Head. 
Alright. But anyways, besides that, um... So, uh, the new, the, uh, the new character, uh, well, not new character, well, yeah, we are getting a new character, we're getting Baiju, finally, after, and I'm gonna say this, why did it take so long for him to be released, why, like, he's not new or anything, like, think of, like, Call of Duty, like, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 and the other games, like, like, he's been in the game for a while, like, ever since the it, it first came out, and now they're releasing him. Like, he's not new or anything, he's already been in the game. He's been implemented in the game for, like, for, like, when the game first came out. Now again, I'm gonna say it again. He's been out for a while. Yeah, but Baiju's finally coming out, like, are you kidding me, like, the fact that it took him that long for him to get released, like, really? Now, um, again, like, it's, it's okay that he's been released. Like, I get it. There are characters in the game that haven't been released yet, as of right now, that I know of, like, like, um, like, I know, I, I have a feeling that Genshin's newest character they're gonna add is just gonna be someone that has been in the game for a while someone that's been in the game for a long time you know who that is signora it's like just think that they bring signora as a playable character it's gonna be like uh, it's people are gonna be saying like she's not new she's been in the game for like ever since day one or practically the beta now, granted, Ayaka, it did take her a bit for her to be released for Genshin. I, I will admit for that, that it took them a while to bring him, to bring her in the game. Because she was also in the, um, she was also in the beta. But, um, you know. I still don't, oh, uh, by the way, I did this poll on Twitter. The poll ended, and one person voted for Ayaka for me to poll. So I might do that, and if I pull for Ayaka, should I, um, should I give her the cool steal, or should I give her, um, or make her, or should I also get more of the, uh, the weapon that all Haytham and Kazuha has? Probably, I probably should, because Ayaka's not Elemental Mastery or anything, well, she's Cryo, so... So, uh, Superconduct, and some various other ones are, you know. Uh. What else? But yeah, um, and Kava is coming out. That's the other guy's name. That's the guy who knows all Haytham, Kava. Um, so he's actually really cool, and honestly, he feels like a force, a five-star character, or like a Pseudo five-star character. 
But he's good, though. I've seen the special program, so... I, I know what's gonna happen. I know that, uh... I know the characters we're gonna get. Um, we are getting a rerun of Nahida, and we're gonna get, I believe, is gonna be a new weekly boss. So that's gonna be exciting. That's gonna be very exciting. So we're getting a new weekly boss for Samaru. And yes, for Samaru, not for Inazuma, not for Lyra, but Inazuma. And quite frankly, like, we need more weekly bosses. Because the more, the better. So, I don't know if Baijo is going to need the stuff for the new weekly boss. But, I, I don't know. It, it'll be, it, he might not, but, um... So, this is something else that I want to talk about as well. And that is that, um... Well, Baijo is going to be in the second half. Yeah, he's going to be in the second half of the update, which is unfortunate because you, you got to basically wait. And Kava, he's not even in. He's not even in the, the first half or the first half. He's in the second. Yeah, like he's in the second. He's going to be that Baijo's going to be in. Like, really? You're going to make him delayed that much? Now, I don't have anything against Mihoyo, but man, they make their they make stuff wrong. <laughs> like they they don't do stuff that people want. And another sad thing, so this is unfortunate. That's still a thing. And that is they haven't talked about Dea. They haven't talked about Dea that they're going to fix her or stuff like that or they're like, you know, we 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 saw what happened on Twitter. We apologize. We'll make her better. They didn't even give us an announcement of that. They didn't. They failed to do especially that. Like, like I, I get it that they want. They don't want to talk in a in a, in a a a special program. But like, come on. Like, at some point, like they gotta respond. They gotta make a response. Cause if they don't. I'm going to tell you this right now. There's going to be people that are going to just flat out leave. Or like, they're going to like, delete their accounts and just start over from scratch without Dea. Well, practically, no one's going to use Dea ever. I mean, I use Dea because she's cool. But like, they could at least buff her. Like, you know, all that stuff I put into Dea and all this time that Genshin or Mihoyo could have done, they could have just basically... Up gave us an update saying that yes, we're gonna fix these characters. We're gonna fix this character, that, and all the other stuff. Like they could have done it. They actually could have. Um, but now don't go hating on me, Holy, or anything, because like they, I'm pretty sure again, they might have not did it because that they just didn't. Um, they didn't. Pr they had any plans to make an announcement of it? They're probably doing it, or they're probably not gonna do it. I don't know. We'll have to wait till the next update, or maybe they'll make like a, a, I guess like a thing in the mail saying, "Yeah, we're sorry that we made Dea so bad. We're gonna we buffed her dramatically, and we're gonna never, ever, ever, ever make a character bad that's a five star." If it's a four star, I mean, I'm fine with that if it's a four star. I don't have a problem with four stars. But if it's a five star, if it's a five star character we're talking about, like, you can't make that character weak. You just can't. You gotta make this character, like, good. You gotta make it to where, like, people are gonna be like, oh, yeah, this character is awesome. This character is OP. Or has like an overpower build that you can give him. But yet, like what Mihoyo did, they did the opposite. They just basically just gave her, they just made her into a joke character. Well, not really a joke character, but like they made her joke-ish. They made her a joke-ish character. 
I mean, she's okay. Like, I'll say this. She's okay. But I really wish that they made her just significantly better with everything. Like, in terms of just making, giving her, like, a better kit and all that. And giving her, like, better multipliers for, for stats, for her talents. They could have done it. They could have done that. Now, um... The unfortunate part is that if, this is something that I saw on Twitter that I think is a good thing that we need people need to be note of is because that they made Daya bad and that they're probably just gonna you know just say you know you know what I'm saying like basically what if they made another character and they just made it bad. And then they just don't heed people's warnings. Like, think of that happening. Think of, like, you know, like, they make a new character and then they made it bad. Because, <laughs> you know, because they just... Because, like, I, I get why. The reason why that they're doing that or they just made Day of Bad is because they just want money. That's all they want. Oh, by the way, speaking of money... <laughs> I saw this on, um, I, 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 I saw, like, this article about this, and I was like, is this really a W moment, or is this something that people need to, like, seriously take note of for, like, a future update or a future character, and, well, it's not really something worth of that, but basically what I'm trying to say is, I saw this on Twitter, and I, uh, not Twitter, but on a, a gaming journal thing. On like a website. And basically it said that the sales for Dea was not as high compared to any other banners. Like it was, the ba the sales on that was low. Like no one pulled for her. As soon as people found out that Dea was bad, like they, they just didn't even bother pulling for her. They decided to just pull for Sino instead. Or, like, they pulled for Dea and they just didn't even bother to get her to C6 or anything. And keep in mind, Dea is a permanent 5-star character. And let me say that again. A permanent 5-star character. So that means you can get her in any banners whatsoever. Like, the the standard banner you can get her. The, uh, her, uh, like a banner, like a Sino banner in, a, in the future. Or the new banner, for instance, that'll come up in the future. Like, she's a, a standard, like, if, and she's not a four star. Again, she is a five star, not a four star. And yet, they just made her so bad. Like, I don't get it. Like, what are they, I, I feel like what they're trying to do is, they probably saw what was going on with, like, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. With, like, the sales on that game just going ridiculously high. But the side effect is the, the the play count on Steam is just going down dramatically. It's ridiculous. Like, there's like barely anyone playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 nowadays. Like, I saw Blame Truth made a video talking about it. And there's like, th th there's not even like, like, like almost a whole continent playing the game. Like, there really isn't. Like, the game is just dying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's this event. I like this. Yeah, there's the Shenha bear. I mean, I could pull for Shenha, but I kind of don't want to because Ayaka just seems better. I'm sorry to say all the Shenha fans out there, but Ayaka is better because she's got a better burst, a better skill, and heck, her sprint is pretty cool too. She's got that ice sprint thing, which is cool. And, the sprint also makes her, uh, normal attacks get configured, well, her normal plunge attacks, all that stuff, configured into, um, Cryo. So, she could be, like, a good Cryo character. Like, her combined with Eula and Cosmo or Venti, or any animal character with the four 
the the animo set from the Mondstadt domain to get the artifacts. She could be good. Like she could be incredibly good. And I know Eula is physical. Like phys um, Eula is a physical character. She's more based on physical, and she's different compared to all the other cryos. Like you got Ayaka, who's like a cryo based character. And, and she does good cryo damage. Ganyu also does that. Um, who else? Um, but yeah, Eula is like a physical damage character. And who else? Uh, who else does physical damage? I mean, I know Chungyin does. Chungyin also, would also be good because of the... The, the talent that you can give him, the past, one of his, uh, ascension talents is, when his burst ends, like, a sword drops and decreases the opponent's cryo, resist cryo resistance by 12%, I believe? Or 10, or 12 or 13, I don't know, but that can also be good. And also, his, his skill can also be good, too, because it only just infuse Ayaka's weapon with cryo anyways. So, like, you don't have to worry about sprinting, or, well, I mean, you don't have to put Chung in, but... It, that's just optional, if you want to do the cryo damage, but... Yeah. But overall, like... We have got no information that Dea is gonna get buffed. No information. Ever. Not a single piece of information that we're getting Dea buffed, or Dea is gonna get buffed. Now... Because of that, that got me thinking. Did did Mihoyo became Modern Warfare? Did they really became Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Or did they become um, Infinity Ward or something? I mean, because you know, Activision. Like, did they really become them? Probably not in a way, but I'm pretty sure. But again, like, they released a character where. Her kit wasn't good, and people want her buffed. And yeah, Genshin Impact, what they're doing is they haven't gave us an announcement saying that, oh yeah, we're gonna fix Dea. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna fix her. Like, <laughs> like it's not that hard. Like, if I were to be a game, if I were to be like a creator of a game, and someone would say this needs to be fixed, I would say right away, okay, I'll get this fixed. I'll respond to everybody's talking about saying, I'll get this fixed no matter what. Even if I got like a couple of streams or like an entire week of streaming to do, I will do this. I will get this fixed and I will promise everyone I'll make the game good. I'll make it good again or make it better. Like it's, it's literally not that hard. It's not that hard. <laughs> to say something like that. Like, yeah, I know Infinity War, like, I think the year when Modern Warfare 2 came out, or last year when it came out, it was bad, like, I think they made a statement, but the statement was bad, like, they, they, they said specifically they would fix the game, and yet, they, <laughs> they didn't. They just decided that they just want money. But yeah, like, Seriously, I, th I don't know. I can't show you guys the thing because I don't think I have it in the history on my phone. It's on my phone I found out about this. But, man, it like when I saw that it said the sales of the Dea banner was so low, that got me thinking that Genshin Impact should have made her better like right away as soon as the banner, as soon as that happened. They, they should have buffed her. Like, that moment when... Um, they saw that the that the banner wasn't doing as good as they thought it was. They should have just they they should have a just like buffed her like right away. Like don't even like make any updates of tweets of the Twitter commo commercial event that they've been doing. Which like no one's gonna win them. Like I'm gonna say this now. Like it's impossible for people to win in those. Like don't trust those things. If any of you guys are addicted to it. I, I don't see any hope for you because like you're not gonna win. I tried doing it couldn't even win I mean, yeah, there's like a cheap way of winning but like still there's no way you can win
I, I just feel like that's something that they need to stop doing because they they just been doing it. And speaking of that, an hour ago, they did another commemoration um, Twitter post thing. Like, they need to maybe shorten that to like three days or two days pretty much. Or just a day. Because, again, like, no one's going to win them. Like, there's going to be, like, a 0.1% a, 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 a chance you're going to win. If I did win, I'd screenshot. I would screenshot, and I would say, you know, I'd take back what I said about Genshin being a bad game or so, or the company not listening to the fans, but the game being good still. But, I don't know, but, man, like... The fixed day of thing, it's still going on, by the way. Like, it's still happening. And the tweet they made, the, all the tweets they've made, all they've been getting is just ratioed by people just putting hashtag fixed day. Like, again, if I were to be in a vi uh, if I were to work with Mihoyo, which I doubt they'll let me because, well, I mean, <laughs> I don't know nothing of being a uh, game designer, but. Like, if I worked with, if I was in, uh, Mihoyo, and if I worked there, you know what I'd do? If I see people talking about this, I would, I would stand up for the, for, for the fans, and actually say, okay, this is not good, we have to, we gotta fix Dea, like, right away. Like, no breaks, no nothing. All we gotta do is just fix Dea, and make the, 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 the community happy. Again! Plain and simple for them to do. Not that difficult. And I'm gonna say this now, like, if you are a worker, if you work at Mihoyo right now, and you are seeing the stream, and you're probably gonna think negative thoughts about me saying it, I'm pretty sure that they're forcing either that you like your job, or that you just don't really care about what people say about me up about the game because I mean granted yes you're just trying to, you're working and you wanna you wanna make money for being in the company but I'm gonna tell you this right now unfortunately but very soon I feel like Mihoyo is not gonna get a lot of money now because I have a feeling that this game might die and I know the Honkai Star thing is going to be like the new successor, but just think if they make that game bad. Just think if they made that game somehow worse. Like, no joke. Like, think if they made um, the, the new Honkai game just awful. Like, they made an update that just completely, utterly destroyed the game. And when they did that, it would also destroy this game. Like, how what happened to Vanguard and Cold War and Modern Warfare 2019. Like, just think of that. Think of that happening. Like, it would just destroy all of the games to the point where they're just unplayable. But, yeah. Um... But, yeah. Um... Think of, like, if that happens. If that happens... And people are playing. I know that the game isn't out yet. Unfortunately, I don't think it's out. Or I'm assuming it is out. But I might. I don't think I'll play it because it's another gotcha game. So I might just not play it. I might just pass the game. If someone. Um, I'll say this though. If someone pays me or if someone like, I don't know, like tells me to play it. Or if I do a challenge and like the. Uh, the, the thing, if they win, then it's going to be me playing the game. Then I'll do that. But, at the same time, I might not play it because you never know. You never know. And, if you know about me earlier, they really don't do a lot of... They don't really give you a lot of stuff for, uh... Polls. Like, Total Lost Word? I'm, make, I'm planning on making a whole video about that because, oh my goodness, Total Lost Word... It's the best game, the best gotcha game I've played so far. And I know it's not everyone's favorite, but you know what? You gotta have, there's one thing that they do, which is good, is that they listen to the fans, they 
they make responses. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure you guys know about, like, the fake Tell Lost Word account that was made, like, I think a year ago, like, when the game first released. But yeah, like, there's that, and then I'm pretty sure they made a response and they got taken down. But, yeah, like, Behoyo doesn't do that. Like, there's a bunch of people that could, like, intimidate them, and they wouldn't care. They wouldn't care at all if people are, like, um, like, intimidating or, like, impersonating them. That's the word, impersonate. All right. No time to lose. But you know what's really funny is that um, there is actually this game that I'm gonna probably play in the future. I don't know when I'm gonna play, but I might give it a shot just to see how good it is. And that game is uh, um, what is it? Um, the the. Uh, dungeon game, that thing based on Galgun, or Galgun Double Piece, the the fan game of that. I might, I'm I'm actually considering giving that a shot because I think in that game it's well polished and it's made by people that actually put care to their community. Now, granted, yeah, Galgun Two, I know I play it. It's not the best game. But certainly not the worst game. It's actually a fantastic game. I don't know what everyone's talking about. <laughs> Some people would say it's a bad game. No, it's fantastic. Gameplay is good. The character is good. The story is good. Everything is good about Galgun 2. Galgun 1 and Galgun Dull Peace will probably be the same. But yeah, um. So. Yeah, back to the Genshin topic, so. Yeah, uh, hopefully they'll make an announcement, maybe before the update comes, they'll make an announcement saying that they're sorry that they made their release, like, so bad. And, like, again, like, because that their sales with De the Dea banner was so low, you'd think that they would immediately just decide to just make a, a statement talking about it, like, right away. You'd think they would do that, right? But yet yeah, they don't. They haven't. Cause they've just been dead silent. I condemn you. But uh, man, I'm telling you right now. I mean, to those that are a fan of gacha games, I probably would recommend you don't play this game for the next banner. Maybe wait until, maybe wait until like something extra good happens, like. Like, um, like, Ganyu gets added to the standard banner and all that. Uh, I don't know. Like, all that stuff could happen. But, one thing I did see on Twitter, and I kind of agree with this person, because this is something that they should do. And that is, they should coordinate the, uh, the four-star characters they put in their banners. Or, like, for when they add them in banners. So, like, um... Well, for this, the banners right now, which I'll show you in a bit, but the banners right now, like, it's all cryo, but there's one character that's not even close to being a cryo. <laughs> and you want to know who that is? Sucrose. Look at that. Shenha, um, Diona, and Mika, and then you got Ayaka, and then you got Sucrose. She's not even a cryo. Like, that is so poorly put in. Like, she's not a cryo character. She's a freaking, uh, she's a, an animal character.
But yeah, like, you got so much people that are just like, like, you got people basically just committed to the, the fixed day of trend on Twitter, and it's not trending now, but honestly, it should trend more. It should trend again. But yeah, you can see, like, you got all the Cryo characters here, with the exception of Sucrose, who's an Animo character. Like, you could have put, um, you could have put Layla, or, uh, who else is a Cryo character? That's a four star. Not Kyle or Ch uh, Chungin. He's Cryo. Uh, yeah, and I guess Layla. I mean, there's not a lot of uh, four star Cryo. Well, there is, but but I, I don't have all of them. I don't have. Uh, how sad is it that I don't have Layla yet? <laughs> how sad is that? I don't have her. But yeah, um, so, like, why not Layla? I mean, Kaya, like, he's, like, why can't we get these characters for any bears to have a rate up? Has anyone ever thought about that? Like, we never get these characters a rate up. Never. We never do. Like, where, what, why, why is Amber, Kaya, and Lisa not in any of the banners? Like, the upcoming banners, like, any... Banners like the the new banners right now, but yeah, like you had Mika and what's her name, um, Diona, and then you got Sucrose. Sucrose, she's an animal character. You could have put like either Chungin or Layla. You could have put either of them. So why, why Sucrose? I guess they're like, you know what? We don't have a plan of who we should put in. So we're just going to do that. Alright. I'm not going to pull for Ayaka. I might do that in a video on YouTube. So be sure to check out my YouTube channel for that. So I'll be pulling for her. Just, just so I can get her. I mean, if I get her, I would be very surprised. I would be very surprised if I get her. All right. Present. But yeah, seriously, like, and I kind of don't want to use it. Like, I got Klee and Yoimiya and Hu Tao. I can use like they're they're better. Hu Tao is better. Yoimiya is pretty good. Klee is decent ish. I mean, she's fine. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Now, there's one thing I do want to say to you guys in terms of, like, what's been going on for this whole month, basically. Like, the month is, we're, like, on the last day. Today's the last day of March. And what did we get from MiHoYo this whole month of them, uh, making a statement about them fixing Dea? Nothing. They've been just doing that Twitter commemoration event stuff and they've been doing some other things <laughs> I, I don't know what they've been doing they're turning into modern warfare oh speaking of Genshin Impact on Twitter there they, um, I did see this video um, talking about like this uh, um, art of Ayato because um, well this month was Ayato's birthday it was like a couple of weeks ago, and there was controversy about that because there are people hating on the artist because, well, I mean, if you want to know the whole story, you'll have to look up about it, but man, like, the Genshin artists, man, like, they're the only people that just get targeted just, like, randomly by these people. Like, it's no one else, no other artist, but the Genshin artists. I actually know that, um... They actually had enough. The Genshin artists, like, had enough of the trash talkers. That's what I call them. I call them trash talkers. But, like, th they're literally gonna have enough of... 
of like all of this, the the bad talking that people are doing to him. And honestly, it's a big W moment for them to do that because, well, I mean, they have to make something like that. They gotta start doing something. Alright, well, I think that's enough of me ranting about Dea. If you want to know the whole story about Dea, I mean, I got videos on YouTube where I talked about it. Some of my past streams, I also talked about it. Heck, even yesterday's stream, when I was streaming um, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, I even talked about it. Like, I talked about it during that stream. But, we're gonna move on to, like, what we're gonna actually get for the next update. Like, some positive stuff. Positive stuff is Baijo's coming out, finally. Don't know why it took him so long. Um, he's gonna be a Dendro shielder, so he's gonna be the first Dendro character to be a shield person. Like, to form shields and all that. Which is good, because... I was actually thinking, oh, is Bajor going to be a shield character? He actually is, so that's good. So that's good that that they're uh, making him a shield character. Only The, the only downside is he's going to be in the second half. Which I kind of get, like, they're, I, I get why, because uh, Mihoyo did that in some of the past banners, where they put characters, like, in the, the second phase. Like, I think Eula... Oh, was Eula one of them? I don't know. Um, I know, uh... There's some four-star characters that are like that, but a five-star? I don't think I've ever seen a five-star get anything like that. Especially a new one. But yeah, the first man we're getting Nahida and... Um... Um... Nilu. So, double N's right there. The double N characters. You know, Nahida and Nilu. Because of course. But yeah, they're coming out. I mean, I already have Nilu or Nahida. I don't have Nilu, but honestly, should I even try to get Nilu? Should I? Do I even want to test my luck to get her? I kind of don't because I know people have said Nilu isn't good. Like, you know, if they could, and I'm going to say this now, like, if they could, because how people were saying Nilu is not good. They could have just gave her for free to everyone. They could have just been like, you know what, we're going to give this character to everyone for free. And stuff, because we know that she's so bad. Her combat's not good, or at least buff her. I would be pretty sure. If they buffed her, I would definitely get her. But there's going to sadly be people that are just going to say, yeah, no, I'm not going to pull for Nilu. A lot of people are pulling, are going to be pulling for, um... Baiju and Kava and <laughs> Like it's so sad to see that people are gonna pull for her for them rather than Nilu. Maybe they'll pull for Nahida. I don't know. I don't know if they'll if they'll pull for Nahida. But like again, like Nahida is not good in combat. Like Spiral of us, like I if you are I'm gonna say this now. If you have Nahida right now definitely use her for the spiral abyss because she's good i i will admit she's pretty decent i i i used her a little bit in it i mean i haven't used her recently for one but i know she's good but if you have um nilu probably would not recommend using her for the spiral abyss probably recommend you don't do that because i i just don't again i just don't see her being good in the spiral abyss i see her good fighting like these guys open world, but I just don't see her fighting like I don't see her fighting skills good against like the spiral of this especially when there's enemies That are like level 100 especially the last area of the spiral of this like the last floor It's like you don't want to use her you want to use like you want to use characters like Zhao uh, Tartaglia Kazuha the run Shogun uh, who else? Klee, uh, yeah, Klee, Jean, Zhongli, all that stuff. It's like, you want to use those characters. But, who knows? Maybe they will buff Nahida. Maybe there'll be a thing saying that Nahida needs to be buffed. 
Actually, speaking of that, I don't think there was a, a buff Nahida trend on Twitter, but... Man, I don't know, but... Well, let's move on to... Um, some of the stuff they're gonna add. So they're gonna add a new event where it's gonna, it's gonna have, like, I guess all of the Inazuma boys, but, but, um, the Wanderer is gonna be in it, so it's gonna be the first time, I haven't done the Wanderer stuff, maybe I'll do that the next, the next stream, or b the stream before the event starts, I'll do that, just to get it over with, cause, I have a feeling that I might not be able to do it unless I complete, like, the new story. Or I might just do all of it off-screen, but... I, I don't know. I really don't know. Actually, no, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I know what I'm gonna do, so... Next Monday, I'll stream this again, and I'm gonna basically just get through the, the new story stuff. So I can just get that out of the way, because I have a feeling that if I don't, I won't be able to do the new event coming out. Uh, uh, for the next update, which, usually for, like, an update to start for, uh, or for an event to start in a new update, it usually takes, like, three or four days for it to actually start. So it kind of gives players, like, a little to get prepared. I don't know. But, yeah, so, the new story quest for Nahida, we're gonna get a new weekly boss, which is gonna have... Um, three phases, kind of like, kind of like Ajdaha in a way. Because he technically has, well, he's got four phases technically, because first phase is just his regular phase. Phase two is when he absorbs one element. Phase three absorbs another. And then the fourth phase is where he combines, like, both absorbed or both, um, both elements that he, um, powers up himself with. Alright. Yeah. But the new boss, assuming, it's gonna, it's gonna have to do with, like, having a Dendro character with you. Kind of like the, the, the Dendro hypothesis. Maybe like that, but different. I don't know. But still, like, I really wish that they buffed these characters, like, Dea and stuff. If they buff Nilu, I'll say this. If they buff Nilu, she'd be good. Uh. But anyways, yeah. I don't know much about it, but I know it's got something to do with, like, a championship or, like, a tournament thing, so. I don't know if it's, like, you can pick who you want to be your champion. I did see Dea being one. But honestly, like, I kind of just want Sino to be the champion, or Nahida if she's going to be in it. Because why not? <laughs> why not? Dea needs, or uh, Nilu needs more, uh, more, uh, fave. Fave. There, fave. Oh, by the way, um, speaking of Nahida... If, uh, should I try to get Nahida to C1? Um. Or should I not? Or should I not pull for Nilu? Should I just save him until Baijou? Because, like, I, I, I still have, I still have thoughts of just saving up for, for, like, ba Baijou and stuff. Like, I, I, I literally have no desire to pull for Nilu. I already have Nahida, unless someone wants me to get Nahida to C1. C2, maybe not. Because I, I I don't think my luck would be in favor for that. But that's if you guys want to see, the, if you want to see me um, also get Nilu to, or Nahida to C1. Because if we go to Nahida right now... Her C1 on... Her, 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 excuse me. Her first constellation upgrade is... When that is unleashed, the elements of the are being... To, to the count, add one of all of them. So, like, that's basically going to make, like... This go to level 2. Or, like, think you have two characters with you. Which is... I want to say, that could make Dea, like, good... Then there's also this, where 
that could be pretty good. Making Dea like a good critical character. But still, like... Now, I know Nahida isn't that good, but she's not terrible. She's actually pretty decent. In fact, she's actually pretty strong. I got a good build on her that just makes her pretty solid, in my opinion. Pretty solid Dendro character, despite that... That, yeah, she's not... She says that she's not good in combat. Which, actually, that is proven to be completely false. She's great in combat. Alright. Um. But, yeah, um. Oh, yeah, and, um. I, well, I mean, I won't tell you guys the redemption codes. Because, uh. Oh, actually, no. Actually, I'll show you guys the, the redemption codes here that I got. There's also this they did, which... Okay. Uh, I don't used to this. I don't see that being important or anything. But, uh, on my Discord server... Well, I mean, if you've seen the, the Genshin Impact Special Program, you'll know about the, the redemption codes. To get free primo gems, three uh, uh, three hundred free primo gems. No time to lose. By the way, can I say that we're close to having the third year anniversary out? And honestly, um, last year's anniversary for Genshin actually was pretty solid. I'll say that they did good. It wasn't as bad. But they still could have done better. But the first time, oh, it was awful. Like, oh my goodness. Like, you would not believe. Like, you would not believe, like, the amount of just pure hate the game got. Like, a lot of people just quit the game, but then they just got back to the game. I don't know. Oh, man. Uh, we are getting a new area for, um, for Sumeru. I think we're gonna get, th um, maybe this area opened? Or back here, maybe? I don't know. We're, we're getting a new area open, but what it is, it's basically, I guess, part of the desert that got affected by the abyss. So, yeah. Oh, and speaking of new area, we, we're going to have new enemies of regular enemies, such as the Hillichurls. We got new Hillichurl enemies, and when I saw them, I was like, okay, this is actually something I think could be really good. I mean, yeah, they're going to probably be super easy to kill, but they look cool. They're like, so what they are is they're Hillichurls that wear like these, these, uh, cloak or something. Like, they have like these... Um, I guess, uh, desert outfits on. Right, right now, at least, there's an Animo and then a, a Hydro version. And they're really cool. And I believe they said that they're basically Hillichurls that aren't part of the generic Hillichurl tribe. So they're not part of, like, all the tribes the Hillichurls are part of. They're like, they're like their own or something. They're like loner Hillichurls. But they're cool, though. They're really cool. I'll definitely show you guys them when I get the chance. Um, 
I'll probably, I mean, I won't do it now, but I'll check to see when it comes out, so that way I'll have it planned. So I can stream it on that day, just explore, but man, I'm excited for it, because the new archers are the ones I want to fight. They're the ones I want to fight. And they got swords as well. They got, I mean, the Hydra ones got sword. I don't know about the, the Anima one. Um, we're also getting some events that are kind of similar to some past ones. We're getting a rerun of, oh, I forget which one it was. Um, but there's some that are like reruns, which, of certain other events. I know that we're getting a rerun of of um this one event. I forget what it was. But yeah. But yeah, uh, that's kind of it in terms of event wise. But yeah, the new areas are really cool. Um, and there's gonna be this thing where we get to fly around. Yes, we can actually like fly. I would love that. But yeah, um. I'm still surprised. I, I just feel like it was unplanned for Sucrose to be in the banners right now for the 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 Shenha and the Ayaka banner. I feel like that was unplanned. Um, but I know. But yeah, we're getting a new Nahida quest. We're getting a um, I believe a new story quest. I'm assuming, or maybe not. I don't know, but um. I do know, oh yeah, speaking of that, we're actually getting a new hangout event thing, which is with Layla now. So Layla gets to have a, a, a hangout event. So that'll be interesting. I haven't done Farazans, but maybe it's because I just haven't used her a lot, so I don't know a lot about her. Plus I haven't leveled her up a lot as much either. I don't have her, like... I don't even have her that powerful. I think she's like at level 40, I believe. Yeah, she's level 40 right now. I know I could just... I, I know I can just like fight the... The thing in the desert. But I kind of want to not do that. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else we're getting. Oh, yeah, and I know there's a new soundtrack that, um, is avail- that's gonna be available. I mean, I don't listen to the soundtrack. I mean, I already know about the soundtracks, but I think those are just, like, remixes of certain soundtracks. I could be wrong, though. All right. I don't even have Dory leveled up ever. I don't even have her leveled up. I still have her with this. I just didn't bother bother to use Dory. Maybe it's because I already have good healers. Or Kale. I need to use Kale more. Kuja Sar as well. I gotta start using her. Yao Yao. Oh, I need I need to use him more. Heijo, I I mean he's awesome. I've I, I've heard people saying he's like one of the best four star characters in the game to be Animo because he's just so strong. But 
thing about him to level him up, you need Oni Kapatos. <laughs> Don't know why you need him for him, but you do. Actually, can I send Ito? I want to send Ito because he's cool. Ah, oh, okay. I just need Geostone. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna send um, uh, Ito real quick because he deserves it. Right, he's the best character, the best Geo character in the game. Maybe not the best, but definitely one of the best G uh, Geo characters in the game. Combine him with um, Zhang Li, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. All right. We'll also go get some Oni Kaputos as well. Okay, Ito, it's time for you to get ascended because. You need to. I think numero uno just went from nickname to reality. Boom! <laughs> hey, but just because I made it to the top doesn't mean I'm gonna forget all the things you've done for me, okay? Still got your back. Anytime, anywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at his defense now. His critical rate's pretty solid now. So that's good. He's got a, He's got a decent critical rate. Oh, I want to level him up so Oh, I can do this. I can actually do that because it's Friday. But first, level this up. That. Can I? Oh, I can't ascend that. Alright. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to do that too. We're going to go fight more slimes because I got to. But first, I'm going to go take a break. So I'll be right back, y'all.
All right, I'm back. All right. Well, uh... I don't know what we can do. Yeah, when does the bear end? Okay, 11 days. Uh. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to go find some Oni Kabutos. We'll do that and then we'll we'll be done for today the stream's not gonna be too long because again just want to talk about some stuff all right I'll get the Tevet travel guide up I could put Goro in, but I don't want to accidentally get Naku weeds. Alright. I might not get all of the Naku weeds, or all of the. the, uh. which we call it things, the Onikabutos. I will go back. I'll do it off screen. I'll try to get some of the scarabs for Sino because I need to get him stronger. But yeah, um, there's a lot around here. What's this one? Is that the Cryo one or the Electro? It's a Pyro. Which one's the Electro? Is this one the Electro? Oh good, this one's the Electro. Perfect. Only because, I mean, it's got high resistance to Electro. <laughs> As you just saw, that did like... She was doing like no damage. <laughs> Alright. Alright, yeah, let's actually now start getting some... Some, uh... Onikabutos. There's one over here. So I have none. I have no Oni Onikabutos right now. I have none. The ones I used were all the remaining ones I had to uh, ascend Ito. Oh crap. Alright. Shine down. For Brace yourself. This is huh. I'll let him do that so I can, uh, you know, do that. Alright, fine. You want me to fight you? Alright. Oh. 
Ooh. From which you came. Illusion shattered. Fuse is lit. Lighter, please. Oh. There's a new raid going on in Xenoverse too, so I'll be uh, doing that. Maybe. I'll probably do it. A touch of frost. Touch of frost. <clears throat> get over there. Oh, pro dodge. Oh, that wasn't a pro dodge. <gasps> Winter shall eventually come. All right. Illusion shattered. Hmm. I see through you. Well, very quick. Looks like I went too far. Give me that. I don't need Naku weeds. What I need. Is only Kabuto's. But yeah, um, I'll probably do the raid off screen. Maybe I'll get some people to help me with it. Okay. But yeah. I found one Ka Oni Kabuto, but I'm not satisfied. I want to find at least, like, a bunch. I want to do that. This is where there's only Kabuto's. I might put Cosmo in the team, but you know what? I kind of like, I want to have this team for a bit. Oh, speak, oh yeah, um, I want to talk about the passive talents for, um, or the talents for, um, Baijo. Baijo's got one to the point where I think he might be the best healer in terms of collecting stuff from Plants like the berries. I'm pretty sure only Kabatos, because when you pick them up, you restore health. So that might be pretty good. So he could be like a semi healer in a way. I mean, I don't think he's a healer, but he could be like a pseudo healer. He'll be good. One day he'll finally become a healer. By the way, we another thing that I forgot to mention is they didn't showcase like, oh, is Titanari getting a new voice? Because, I mean, when is that? When are we gonna get? When are we gonna hear Titanari's new voice? Because if you didn't know, the uh, original voice actor of of Titanari, that being Elliot Glindy, I think I'm pronouncing his last name right. Uh. He got his contract terminated because um, people find out about his past and stuff, so they terminated him from uh, Genshin Impact, and Genshin Impact even made a statement about it, 
And when I saw that, I was like, did they really let this person in the company? And after the reveal, the, the shocking reveal of his past, like, Zach Alger, the guy who does the Traveler, the male Traveler, he made a tweet saying, like, he did not know about this. He didn't know about it. He talked to the guy, like, a bunch of times when he was streaming with him. He did not know anything about Elliot's past. Until now, or until, um... Early last, early this month. Oh no, it was la uh, last month that it was revealed. Was it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, cause that was when it, all that went down. Like I was like, really? I was like, no, I shouldn't even believe this, but it was true. There was a uh, tweets that were talking about it all. He made a like a document thing about it. And he even came out clean about it, too. Like, he... Did, I mean, he did the right thing, I'll say. He did the right thing. Tell him the, the truth about all of it. Now, um... I'm sure that's all of them up here. But yeah, seriously, like, who's gonna be the new voice actor of Elliot, uh, the new voice actor of Tainari? For the English dub, not for the Japanese dub. The Japanese, I think it's okay. It's, uh, it's just the English dub. I don't know. But, yeah, um, so I don't know if they're hiding it, like, they're gonna reveal it for the next update, that they're gonna be like, yeah, we got a new person who's gonna do Tainari. Hopefully, it's not Steve Blum or Patrick Sates, because, like, I don't think they would be a good Tainari, in my opinion, I don't think they would be a good Tignari. Like, for Patrick Sates, like, he plays characters that has, like, an antagonistic role kind of thing. Steve Blum, he plays, like, tough characters, like Tank Dempsey, for instance, from the Call of Duty games. Um, Wolverine from X-Men. Like, he plays those characters. Like, those characters are fitting for Steve Blum. They are like what Steve Blum should voice act. Speaking of Steve Blum, um, can I say like Steve Blum is like my favorite voice actor of all time? Like he legit is my favorite voice actor. And you know who's also my favorite voice actor? I'll tell you who's also my favorite voice actor. Patrick Sates. Like, if I were to say, like, a top three most favorite voice actors, number one would be Steve Lum, number two would be Patrick Sates, and number three would be... Um... Adam Sandler. I know some people could say Ryan Reynolds, or, um, Nolan North, but, you know... Adam Sandler's he's gotta get some respect. He's hilarious. If people think he's cringe, what is wrong with you? He is hilarious. Alright. Go over here to the Cujo encampment encampment. Oh, by the way, um, to those that want to add me on Genshin, um, I mean, you can't really do that now because my friend list is full, unfortunately, but 
If you have, if you play this on PS4, or PS5, you can add me. Just add my PSN username. And you'll automatically be in my friends list. That's the other thing that I was hoping that they do, or they'll probably do that in the 4.0 update. I don't know. I don't know, but um, I have a feeling they're gonna do something. If you guys see me pausing, that just I'm just looking at the Tibet travel guide to see where all the stuff is. Okay, so there's a thing over here. There's a boom. All right, got that guy. <laughs> what up? Now you shall perish. <laughs> But yeah, if you don't know what Chungin's skill does, I mean, you can probably see right now, it fuses any character that wields a sword, claymore, or cat, or not cataclysm, sword, claymore, or pull arm, it'll be infused with cryo. And that could be pretty good for a full cryo team, because then you'll be able to do some mad cryo damage. Especially to characters that don't really have good cryo damage by default, such as Kaya being number one. Chung Yin being number two. Um, Shen Ha. Although, Shen Ha, I think, doesn't she have an ability to give her. Like, a critical. Like, doesn't she have an ability to infuse her thing with Cryo? Didn't I see that? I don't know. Abuto. Uh, I didn't see an Onik Abuto over here. Did I? Did I get it? I don't know if I got the Onik Abuto over here. Let's go check. Oh, I, I did see this, um, but I was experimenting something yesterday, and there's actually an option to, like, change, like, the fast wheel stuff, so you can, like, remove and add things, so... Might change it. <laughs> might change it. I don't know. No time to lose. Honestly, I might just get rid of the... The, uh... What is it, the, um, the quest stuff, because I can just go to this, or just, or the adventure book. Because I, I don't really need it, right? I, I, I only want to use it when I need it, but to be honest, because there's a Tibet travel guide I can use, like, I kind of don't really need it. Like, I can just, like, use the Tibet travel guide as my adventurer's book. Yeah, did I get it? Did I get the only Kabuto around here? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I did. So uh There's a place over here. So this is the um I, I guess one of the bases of the the, the Shogunites. I say one of them because they have one back in, uh, in Azuma City and all that. And in Watsumi Island, that's where the Resistance are. Or at least that's where, um, that's where, uh, Kokomi's men are. Ha! 
You know what's funny? I saw this animation on YouTube earlier today of Genshin Impact, which is called um, Venti and jo It's. It, I think I don't know what it said. It was in Japanese, but I think it had something to do with like the title saying Venti and Zhongli go to Inazuma. So they go to Inazuma, and there it was funny because like there's a part where they just completely defeat the Shogunite. And, uh, yeah. It, it was during, like, before the Ryan Shogun was about to execute, um, uh, Tama. But, uh, yeah. Apparently, um, uh, apparently, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Venti and Zhongli show up and they're like, they start doing these, um, funny things and stuff. And the Ryan Shogun's like, hey, don't do that. Because, like, she knows about, she knows about Zhongli and, and Venti and pretty much the other Archons. Also, can I say, like, the Ryan, Sh the whole point of the Ryan Shogun with the Vision Art Decree was that she can just, you know, she did it because, I mean, she had to do it. She wanted to make eternity for Inazuma, but it only caused war. Cause like, think of uh, like Star Wars or um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Because when there comes power, there comes greed and stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that's not what happened. I'm assuming that's not what happened to the Ryan Shogun. I mean, maybe it was. Maybe she... She started the Vision of Decree because she kind of grew in power. Because, again, if you know about this specific phrase that I'm about to say, you'll know what I mean. Great power comes great possibility of greed and a great possibility of war. Mostly the first part is the correct one because, like, yeah. Like, if you get power, like... You're in a company, right? And you start doing stuff. Eventually, you're gonna rise power, and eventually, some of those some companies that that get a lot of popularity and power kind of become bad guys. And that's kind of what happened to the Ryan Shogun. She got corrupted with power. I mean, at least I think is what happened. I'm assuming that's what happened, or that she just lost because. After the Ryan Shogun's friend died, she was like, <laughs> she didn't have anything to do. I'm pretty sure it's um, the second, the, the other, the part where the Ryan Shogun's friend died or something. Yeah, but she changed though, she changed. Uh, when you finished it, she's like, okay, I'm just gonna stop the Vision Hunt Decree. Now, it, it, funny enough, a lot of, I was thinking it was the Fatui that, that convinced her to do it, but it wasn't the Fatui, y'all. It was not the Fatui. Or at least it was, but... It wasn't the person who started the decree. Well, I mean, that was the person that, you know, uh, they were the ones that kind of had it start, but I don't think it was the Fatui that did. In fact, um, I actually watched a video of the Ryan Shogun, like the final fight with the Ryan Shogun. She was actually full aware about the Fatui. They were, she was aware of the Fatui of what they were doing. So she knew what was happening. Because, if you don't know, like, um, if you don't know, like, the Ryan Shogun's, like, the watcher of Inazuma. Because she, she knows, like, everything that's kind of going on. But, yeah, I was surprised. Like, she actually knew that the Fatui were planning something. She didn't try to stop it, or she tried, I don't know. But I do know, that, I'm pretty sure she knew about it from... Uh, Kujo Sar because her uh, apparently someone in her clan, the leader of her clan, I think, 
uh, made like a deal with the Fatui, so yeah. The Fatui were the one that started it, but I don't think that it, they were necessarily the one to convince the Red Shogun to start the Vision Hunt Decree. But I do know that she did say she's aware of it. And she lost against the Traveler. And, uh, yeah. Now, I could say, like, if someone can make, like, an ant, like, fan art of my OC, like, going all out against the Raj Shogun, that would be incredible. Like, just think of it, because, like, my OC is, like, strong. He's got power. He's got all kinds of power. And, yeah, he doesn't abuse them for anything. He doesn't, like... He doesn't, like, show off his power just so he can just go on a rant, just so he can destroy everything and not care about what happens. No, he, he's con he has control over it. And, like, he'll, like, tell the Ryan Shogun, like, his dark past of how, uh, he almost got brutally murdered and then he was saved by a group of scientists, I guess. I don't know, you guys can, you guys are more welcome to make, like, a, a fan fiction of that, where it's like, my OC is like, he got almost murdered by, not the Joker, but just some random assassin, and then he, he gets saved by like a group, and they turn him into like a, like a killer machine of some sorts. Oh no, someone could do that. I might make a whole story about that, because, I mean, to be fair, like, I'm pretty much the only person that has an OC, but he doesn't have, like, a background, because, like, that's kind of the one thing I wanted to do with my OC, is give him, like, an actual background story, because he doesn't have one, so it's like, no one knows, like, what happened to him and what, what he can do, or, pre or pretty much, like, his history and stuff. It's just, like, in the abyss. Like, no one knows. Only way for people to know is if I tell them about it. Just saying, oh, here's info about my OC and all that. But yeah, do let me know if, if you uh, have an OC and you didn't even give a, like, any background story about him, him or her. But yeah. Oh, speaking of him, her, I saw this, I saw this, um, uh, that, um, what's his name made, and this is like the stupidest thing I've ever seen anything related to Pokemon. So dumb and stupid, and all could have just been avoided if, like, this person wasn't treated so wrong. So, um, uh, Hirohei made a video talking about how this kid got disqualified from the Pokemon trading card game thing for just saying a pronouns like he was shy and you know basically what he was he said something like I go uh he like he was talking nervously and he got disqualified for that like that is like I'm gonna say this now that is the stupidest way for someone to get disqualified and pretty much the most unfair way to get disqualified like who gets disqualified for just saying him, like, all that, like, nervously? Who? Who would do such a thing? I wouldn't. If anyone said, I'll be like, take your time, man. Just take your time. This is a stream. And this is all on live, by the way. This is all live. And, oh, man, I feel bad for the kid. I think the, the, kid, the kid's name is Tran. Yeah, that's his name. His name is something, something Tran. And he got disqualified for no reason that shouldn't be something serious. And the judges even said that, um, you know, it was fair for them to do it. But was it? I don't think it was. And thankfully I don't do the, the trading card game stuff because, well, let's be honest, I'm bad at them. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm good at the games. Yes, I'm good at the games. But, like, the train card game of Pokemon, I am not good at. If anyone out there is, like, a professional, you probably beat me in, like, two seconds. <laughs> right before you can even get to the game. Because I'll be like, okay, I, I don't know what to do. My brain is confused. 
and all that. Uh, I just picked up a knock. It's all right. Um, but yeah, like, like, why? And honestly, like, the judge, he, w if the kid tried, he could have, he could have easily just sued the judge, or practically, he could have sued the trading card game company of Pokemon, and just be like, like, he could have, he could have done it, but he just could, he didn't, though, he was hiding, because, um, he said that he knew the rules were rules, and he didn't want to say anything too negative but again like like he could have just like put his foot down and said this is not right like he, he could have put his foot down during the stream saying this is not right i'm not i'm not getting disqualified for the most bs reason he could have if i was him i would do that i don't care if i get thrown out i don't care if i get arrested for it i do it because well, frankly, it's something that is something that should not taken seriously to be to just, you know, someone going, uh, he, uh, he, he, uh, like, how is that something to be taken serious? Is the judge some, I forget what the word he said, but it's something about, like, he's kind of offensive towards the kid, because the kid don't deserve that. He don't deserve to, to have this ridiculousness. Like, he lost... He he spent he saved up so much money to go to it, and yet he just got like shunned out of the Pokemon train car. He got disqualified of it, and it caused controversy. Like, you know, but there's people that are actually defending the Pokemon community. They're actually defending this, like people defending the Pokemon the the judge, saying it could have been avoided. Like. Okay, you go to it. You try and say, uh, he, uh, 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 see how you try and do that and get disqualified. I'm pretty sure you feel the same thing. I'm pretty sure you feel the same pain as Tran did. Then he made a whole document and basically, this kid's got a sad life. I'll be, I'll be honest, this kid's got a sad life and what they did, I, I'm pretty sure just made it worse to the point where he could have been he could have been found deceased the next following days he could have because this kid has been suffering a lot of depression and because he's making a lot of friends he's been getting better at it he got well he got medicine and all that but then it started to come back after well freaking the pokemon community well it's not the, the community i don't think it's the pokemon community itself i think it's just the judge of the training card company. But like... But like... It's not the kid's fault, it's their fault. But yeah, like, I don't really get why that even was something they could have done. They could have just not did it. But yeah, um... And this was recent too. This is recent it happened. This wasn't something that was like a couple of weeks ago. No, this is something that recently happened. And again, there is the stream that was up, and, and they have proof that the judge was being uh, a bit too harsh. And again, they're, they're trying to keep the reputation of not trying to like have the thing ruined, but like. The kid was crying for weeks, or not weeks, but like the whole weekend, he was crying. Like, I, f I feel bad for this guy. I really do. Yeah, I think this happened like last week though, so like... The week, like, last week during Saturday or Friday, it happened, and man, I can say right now, all, I've, I've said this a bunch of times in most of my streams and stuff, saying, like, all of this could have been easily avoided. Like, flat out easily avoided. No problems, no issues ever, if the situations were 
if all of this was never happened in the first place. It's that simple. I'm pro I might as well just say that in most of my stuff now. I'm just gonna say this all could have been easily avoided if people can just be smart for once. Now granted, the good, the positive thing about that is uh, the kid went on like, well there was like a funding that happened or like a, a, what do you call it, like a charity. So thankfully they rose some money for this guy, for this kid and I don't know, I don't remember what, how old he is. I'm pretty sure he's like, like a teenager age or he's like... I'm pretty sure, like, if he told the people, like, about his past, they would have went easy on him. They would have been like, whoa, okay, okay, well, we won't disqualify you. We'll, we'll let you stay for a bit, all right? We'll let you, we'll let you continue your battle. That, and nothing else would happen. That simple to avoid. Like, can I, 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 I want to make a whole vi- I want someone to make a whole video- Talking about how you can just easily avoid controversy, like how you can easily avoid getting into controversy, like the the the, the best steps to do it. Number one, just don't make the situation escalated. Just don't. Just like like for any stupid things. And if you're gonna come after me, go ahead. I mean. I got nothing, I got no po- um, I got nothing really to do with the Pokemon Training Guard game. In fact, I don't even play it. I mean, yeah, I have some cards of it, but I don't have- I don't play it. Because there's no one to play with, that's the thing. There's no one for me to play it with. All right, well, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> but not only that, but, like, trans opponent that he was fighting against, I forget his name, but <clears throat> when he was fighting him, or when he was battling him during it, he knew that it was unfair. He, like, he right away knew that, hey, this ain't fair for this guy to be treated like this.
Yeah. But yeah, like, I, I'm gonna say now, like, can I just say, like, the Nintendo community just gets more toxic and toxic to the points where, like, we're pretty much Pokemon. I, I don't know, like, again, all could have just been easily avoided. If none of this happened. If the judge didn't decide to just go harsh on the kid. It's honest, it's, that's kind of saying, like, if I ever get children, I should just be harsh to them. Like, that's basically me just trying to act like the guy. Or practically, you know what I'm thinking it is? I'm thinking that judge was doing something to make kids grow up to be douchey. And no kidding, I I think that's what he was trying- Either that was he's trying to do, or he was just trying to... You know... By the way, if any of you guys do want to try any of that, don't do it. Like, I'm just going to say now, don't do it, because it's just going to make you look bad in front of a lot of people if you do. And matter of fact, if you try and do it, and it's someone, and I know, and I'll know about it, you know what's going to happen after. You know what's going to happen next. But yeah, like, this kid, like, he lost, like, what, $800 just to get to the place? And he lost a lot of time of school and with his friends? And this kid, like, comes back to his home and he's just, like, crying in depression. I feel bad. Again, I, I really wish if I was in that place, I would go up to the judge and punch him right in his freaking jaw. And just say, that's not nice. You apologize to him, or I'm gonna break more than your jaw. I would literally do that. I would. No one would stop me. But actually, but don't do that. Don't do that to anyone. <laughs> I mean, you can do that to someone, like, if you're in the streets, but, like, don't do that when there's, like... A bunch of people around. <laughs> gonna do something. He was gonna like, I don't know, fight back. I think, but he chose not to. Which, to be honest, I think that's a good thing because you don't want to get you don't want to get arrested. Although, like, I'm pretty sure that if he were to be taken to court when that happens. I guarantee he would win because, like, the judge unfairly disqualified him. He would have flat out just won. He would have just won it and he would, like, walk him out and put the middle finger on the judge and be like, what you get? He could have done that. But again, when he decides to just keep cool and have it just go... That's pretty much the best choice for him to do. Because it doesn't... Because he didn't want to get it worse. Which I get it. But... He could have said something like, This is unfair. Man. This month has just been awful. Am I not mistaken? Or has March just been awful? Like, just nothing but just bad stuff happening. Like... Like, we got a kid who was a, a Pokemon TCG player. And that, that got wrongfully disqualified. And then we got, um... And then we got, like, how Genshin Impact released Dea to be so bad. This month's just been awful. Oh, and, and what's more awful is today is Pika Mi's last stream ever. Because she was graduating and... Yeah. So, of course, Pika Mi's graduating. And you want to know who, whose fault it is? I'll tell you. The people who hate trans and they're doing the 
hating Hogwarts Legacy campaign, which, by the way, just failed horribly. It just failed so bad. But apparently, they're not stopping. They're like, we're not. They're 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 like, we're not gonna let these dudes win. Cause like you know they could actually do something worse. They could have have like a group of hackers and just like start like you know doing stuff to them. To these streamers playing Hogwarts Legacy, like they could do that. And if they did, that would make it a much bigger controversy. And yeah. But the thing is, like, when if that happens, like, Twitch and you or YouTube, or it's mostly Twitch, they're not going to do anything about it. They're just going to be like, oh, okay, uh, you got hacked, okay, give us a, it'll take a while for us to get done, to get your account back. Or practically, there's a chance you'll never get it back. <clears throat> All right. I am going to make a video later on today talking about, like, how they did not, they seriously just did not talk about Dea for the up the program thing. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to do that. <clears throat> but, uh... There is actually something else that I do want to talk about. Before I end the stream, and that is, um, Pikami, I, I mean, yeah, she's, this is like the last day, so she's gonna be graduating, but, the thing about her is that I don't know much about her, all I know is that she's pretty popular on both Twitch and YouTube, now she's retiring, and a lot of people are sad, and seeing it, it's like, it's not, it wasn't, peak, well, I mean, to be honest, I can't tell if it's Pikami or if it was Hogwarts Legacy's fault or it's the the trans fault or it's that Pikami planned the graduation. People are, it's been speculated that she planned the graduation, but I, I honestly don't believe it. I mean, some of you guys probably would, but I don't. I honestly think it was Hogwarts, the, the Hogwarts Legacy hairs or the... Harry Potter fans, or also known as the trans haters' fault. I think it's their fault that did it. They made the situation just escalate. And you want to know what the worst part is? A lot of people were starting to be like, if you're a trans hater, like, unfollow me right away. Like, people doing that, like, I don't think doing that would be a good idea, because then, just think of it, it's like someone that's a close friend of yours. And they see it, and they're like, I'm a tr I don't like trans and stuff, like, it's kind of thinking you're hurting their feelings. Kind of, in a way, it's, it's not good. Alright, well, I'm gonna end the stream here, um, yeah, I'm gonna go find some scarabs off screen, maybe get the... Get my en my voice energy refreshed for the video, cause I'm gonna be stopping. I'm gonna be talking nonstop. <clears throat> but thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll be streaming. Um, I think I'll be streaming. Uh, what will I be streaming tomorrow? Let me check. Oh yeah, I'll be streaming GTA 5 tomorrow, so <clears throat> I'll be doing that. I don't know what I'll do for that. Maybe just mess around, do some custom jobs, do all the other stuff. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.